Hi all, in this video I will teach you about Lagrange's interpolation. This interpolation is used when the differences of x may not be equal. If you have two points for x, we get linear Lagrange. And the formula is y is equal to L0 y0 plus L1 y1 where L0 is obtained using this formula. In this formula, you have to skip x0 from the table. In the numerator, we get x minus x1 by x0 minus x1. To obtain L1, you skip x1 from the table. So, x minus x0 by x1 minus x0 will give you L1. After obtaining L0 and L1 substitute in Y, we get linear Lagrange. If you have three different points, we get quadratic Lagrange. And the formula goes like this, Y is equal to L0 Y0 plus L1 Y1 plus L2 Y2, where L0 is obtained by skipping X0 from the table. So, X minus X1 into X minus X2 divided by X0 minus X1 into X0 minus X2. Similarly, L1 is obtained by skipping X1 from the table, L2 is obtained by skipping X2 from the table. Once you obtain L0, L1 and L2 substitute in this polynomial. The inverse Lagrange polynomial is obtained by interchanging X and Y in the formula. Suppose I need inverse quadratic Lagrange, then here in the place of Y I replace X. So, X is equal to L0 X0 plus L1 X1 plus L2 X2 will be the inverse quadratic Lagrange, where L0 is obtained by replacing X by Y, Y minus Y1, Y minus Y2 divided by Y0 minus Y1, Y0 minus Y2, like that you have to find X L1 and L2 also. Compute a 4D value of log of 9.2 from these values by linear Lagrange interpolation and determine the error using log of 9.2 equal to 2.2192. So, the exact value is given. We have to find out the numerical value of log of 9.2 using Lagrange's interpolation. Let us first construct the table. So, for 9.0 log of 9.0 is 2.1972. For 9.5 log of 9.5 is 2.2513. And we know the function, it is log of x, where x is 9.2. Let us name these tabled values as x0, y0 and x1, y1. We need linear Lagrange. So, this is the formula. Let us substitute all these values to find L0 and L1. After obtaining L0, L1, substitute in this polynomial, we get the answer. But the exact value is given in our question, which is 2.2192. To find error, we have to subtract these two values. So, the error is 3.6 into 10 raise to minus 4. Using Lagrange's polynomial, find the polynomial to the data and hence find y at 2. So, here there are three points, that means we get a quadratic Lagrange. Here there are two questions. First, we have to find the polynomial and then use that polynomial to obtain y at 2. This is the quadratic Lagrange, where L0 is obtained using this formula. We do not know the value of x, so we get L0 in terms of x. Similarly, L1 in terms of x, L2 in terms of x. Substitute in this formula, we get a polynomial and this is a quadratic polynomial. And now, let us proceed solving the second part of the question, that is we have to find the value of y at 2. Put x equal to 2 in this polynomial, we get the value as 6. Third question, using Lagrange's formula, find the polynomial p n of x and also find the value of x for which the polynomial is maximum or minimum for the following data. Here there are 4 different values. Therefore, we get a cubic polynomial and this is the cubic polynomial. Okay. Let us find L0, let us find L1, let us find L2 and also L3. Substituting in the polynomial, we get like this. You can simply uh, 
solve this using your own method, but I am going to use componendo dividendo rule. So, that the simplification becomes easier. What I am going to do is I am dividing both LHS and RHS by the factors x minus x 1, x minus x 2, x minus x 7 and x minus x 8 on both sides. After dividing on both sides, some of the terms in the right hand side gets cancelled and here I am going to group the terms 4 by 42, here also we have 4 by 42 and 1 by 6 and 1 by 6. After grouping, I get like this. Again, I am taking LCM for both the terms. After taking LCM, again I am taking the LCM. So, I get like this. Okay. In both the left hand side and right hand side, I have common denominators. I am going to cancel that and then after solving, we get a polynomial. Now, this is the polynomial, but they have asked you to find out the value of x for which the value of y is maximum or minimum. For that, I will first differentiate y and then equate that to 0. We get the critical points. At those critical points, the value of y is either maximum or minimum. And after finding the derivative and equating to 0, we get the value of x as 4.5. So, at 4.5, the value of y can be maximum or minimum. Problem 4 apply inverse Lagrange's formula to find the root of the equation f of x equal to 0 given these values. So, here f of x means y, y is equal to 0 is given. Using y equal to 0, we had to find out the value of x. That is the reason we are using the inverse Lagrange's formula. And let us name these values as x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 and this is the Lagrange's inverse polynomial. Okay, we have to find out the value of x for which y equal to 0. Okay, so, put y equal to 0 in inverse Lagrange's formula. You know L naught is obtained by replacing x by y in the formula. We know the value of y is 0, substitute y1, y2, y3 and y naught. Similarly, find L1, similarly find L2 and then substitute also L3 and then substitute in x. So, we get the value of x as 37.23. So, at this point the value of y is 0. I hope you have understood this. Thank you.